And have they told you anything in the way of a time frame, or do you have a time frame in mind? Yeah, there's no no time frame for anything right now. There's no need for one. Uh, just kind of going based on how I feel, and we'll just kind of progress from there. What's your level of frustration with everything that's happened with this team to you yourself now wind up on the I.L.? Yeah, it's tough. You know, that was one of my goals. I didn't want to, you know, get back on the, you know, the D.L. or anything, and you know, especially tough times like this when a lot of guys are beat up. I wanted to be out there in the trenches with... With the, with the guys, you know, every single day, you know, fighting through some tough times. But, um, you know, it happens, and uh, it's it's, uh, it's a tough spot. Was it just on that swing, or did you feel it before that at all? Just on the swing. How, how do you think this lineup will persevere without you and without all the other injured guys? Oh, they're going to be just fine, just like you guys, you know, saw today. You know, you guys just step up. That's how it is. And, you know, me out for... You know, however long it's going to me and other guys going to, you know, get a chance to get some playing time and get a chance to show what they got and step up and, and produce for us up here at the highest level. So I'm, you know, that's the one thing, you know, I'm out of all this I'm excited about is just another guy getting a chance to go out there and perform. You know, I've been seeing Talkman come up big for us, you know, the past couple of days. Clint Frazier's been doing his thing, you know, every single night, you know, coming out with a couple of hits or, you know, making something happen. So um, that's the one bright spot in, in all of this. Feel the same as it did when you heard it three years ago on the other side? Yeah, it's. Um, I don't think it's as bad as the one I did in, in 16, um, but it's a different side. It's. We'll see. We'll see what happens with them. Any idea of how long in your mind? No, but there's no need to put a time, you know, a clock on it because it will happen just like what it did with the wrist last year. So no need to go down that road again. You said it all depends on how you feel. How do you feel today? Uh, feeling all right, you know. It's the first couple of days are always the worst, so um, it's just about getting past those first couple of days and then kind of moving on from there. So I think it'll probably see how it feels after a week and go from there. Aaron, what was going through your mind as you were jogging to first base when you clearly knew something was not right? <laughs> I, I can't say that on TV, but um, <laughs> it um, it, it wasn't good, you know. Um, just I was thinking about, you know, the team and you know, the situation we're going through. I just want to be out there for them. So getting that taken away is, is tough. Will you, remain with Will you travel on this trip with them? Are you saying that? Yeah, yeah, I'll be with the team. Um, yeah. What is the treatment on this? Just ice or ice and heat or do nothing? Or? You know, you have to ask the training staff on that one. You know, it's the first couple of days, so of course you just want to, you know, icing and get the inflammation down a little bit and just kind of get all that stuff cleared up and then, you know, go from there. Once the pain goes away, then we can start, you know, working on some about uh, mobility and, you know, loosening everything up and just getting the strength back. Aaron, you, you paused initially when, when Meredith asked you about feeling it on that one swing. Was there anything that maybe led up to it that you could, looking back on, you think may have triggered it? No, I was trying to think, but no. All right, so they found out, by the way, as Aaron Boone called it, a significant strain, but that's the great unknown. They have no idea how long it's going to take to get it out of there and get him back on the field. Right, Aaron Judge is answering questions about it, but he can't say. He can't say it's going to be X amount of time or Y amount of time. It's how he feels, and he did make reference to the fracture he had in his hand last year, how... Originally, it was supposed to be three weeks, and then when that dragged on, he ended up answering a lot of questions about that. So in this situation, he's going to take two weeks, as Aaron Boone said, and then the Yankees are going to reevaluate it and see where he stands. You heard Judge supporting his teammates today, talking a lot about them. But, Bob, we mentioned this on the pregame. Terrific win for the Yankees today, but there is a void in that lineup without Aaron Judge. We're not breaking any news in that situation. Not just what he provides statistically with homers and getting on base, but just that he makes pitchers work this is a guy who has terrific at bats and every time a team has an advanced scattering report they know in that first inning they're going to have to face judge the Yankees are going to be out without that for an extended period all right so